the kindergarten, babies, Sunday school, high school, everywhere. The fire of revival, the fire of the awakening, the fire of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit must touch everyone in this region for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. And uh, we do have a website. You can check it out and uh, submit your prayer requests. Maybe, you know, we stream these crusades. Right now we're streaming this service. And people that are watching it, uh, we also have Periscope it. Um, we also have a, you can get that app and be able to uh, watch some of our events as they unfold. And the power of God is being released to transform lives all over the world for the glory of God. In Jesus' name. And uh, I'm going to ask the ashes to help me out. If it's your first time to come to these crusades, can I have all the ashes ready, please? Thank you. Yes, can I get my products, please? Well, the ashes are getting ready. Amen. Uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, if it's your first time to be in one of our crusades, we want to stay in touch with you. They're going to give you an information card, and you can take that information card, write your email or your address. We want to stay in touch with you. We want to let you know when we are coming back in this region so we can bring the power of God to your city, and you don't want to miss it when we're coming in, in this region. You don't want to miss it. So, uh, the best way you can be able to uh, stay in touch with us is to take that information card and write down your address. We're not going to bombard you with the mail. We're just going to give you, send you a newsletter of what God is doing, and also we will update you when we have an event in this region or anywhere around where you could come and experience the power of God. You can also write your prayer request on that information card. Can I have one, Brother Josh, please? One of those information cards. Uh, you could write your name. You can also write your email, your address, or your phone number, whatever you feel comfortable giving us. And we will keep you posted with what God is doing in this region. And also, you can write your prayer request. Uh, there, if it's not enough, you could write on the back. Amen. We have some products at the table. A visited heaven was written by one of my spiritual daughters. She has raised four people from the dead. She prayed for them; they were dead. They came back to life. I always talk about a book everywhere I go. It's about a visited heaven and a visited hell. After I died for two hours, she died, and the Lord told her to come back. And her testimony, she put in a book. So we have these books available. Pick them at the table before you leave. And also the book I wrote called A Secret Place. It's about the presence of God. The cost of abiding in his presence. Amen. Glory to Jesus. So you can get yourself a copy. It's only $10 and God will bless you. We also have music. Worship music. When I'm singing and the choir helping me out. One of them is called A Secret Place. High and lifted up. We also have uh, healing rain. And uh, we also have pressing in. Uh, you can stop there and pick it up. True worship. And also we have true worship. Beautiful music. We also have dreams and visions. How to interpret your dream or your vision. And also we have healing school. Powerful. Incredible. Amen. We also have uh, uh, dethroning Leviathan. That's a spirit. How to defeat it. We have dry bones live again. Great revelation about being restored. And dethroning the spirit of Jezebel. If you have a call of God on your life, these products will really benefit you. In Jesus' name. We have some great singles here. Uh, Destroying the giants in the land. Debt is a giant. Sounds in the glory. Very powerful. How to experience the sounds in the glory.
in the name of Jesus. You're going to be blessed. Moving in God's timing. You want to know how to move in God's timing. Amen. Keys to your harvest. God wants you to harvest in the glory. So, great teaching. How to keep your deliverance. How do you keep your deliverance when God gives it to you? I put a teaching video for that. I also have healing school one to three. Scriptures on how healing can happen, how to receive it, how it manifests. Great, powerful teaching. We also have financial deliverance. Powerful. It's going to help you uh, receive your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I just understand that uh, some people want interpretation to Spanish. We're going to improvise it. Amen. Glory to Jesus. They're going to give you a package, a gift, a visitor's package when you fill up that form and you hand it back to them. And uh, God is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All the time. Glory to Jesus. We're going to give you a few seconds before I begin to teach. Um, as you fill up those forms. We have a, pr a prayer request box. If you have a prayer request, you can write it down and uh, we'll, we'll give you instruction. You can always bring it and place it here. If you have a prayer request and you want us to pray for, just write it down. Amen. Glory to Jesus. The Bible say in Isaiah chapter 6 You can also watch us on TV. We come on channel 13 and 61 every Sunday at 5 o'clock. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twine he covered his face, with twine he covered his feet, and with twine he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full. The, 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 the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, then said I, what is me, for I am undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips. I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hands, which he had taken with tongues from off the altar. And he laid upon my mouth and said, Lord, this has touched thy lips. And thine iniquity is taken away, and all thy sin punished. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Father, bless this word in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to teach you how the glory of God is activated. We understand that when iniquity is rampant and active in our lives, we can't hear his voice. We cannot hear his voice. That's why Isaiah, he 
is talking about this depth of the revelation in the visions that God gave him. When he saw the Lord, he repented. The fire cleansed him. A live coal in his hand which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. The cleansing began when he confessed, when he confessed, when he humbled himself in brokenness. That is when the deliverance manifested. That's when the deliverance manifested from the sin that was holding him and hindering him from hearing his voice. The title of my message tonight is What is Blocking You from Experiencing the Glory? That is what needs to be removed. What is blocking you from experiencing the glory? That's what needs to be removed. Once it's removed, your miracle will manifest. Your deliverance will manifest. Nothing is impossible with the Lord when the glory of God is released. Miracles happen when the glory of God is present. So Jesus is the one that heals and sets the captives free. But can you hear his voice? The doctor said something about your health. What is God saying about your health? The doctors report what they discover through their intellect. They, they went to school, they study, they have technology so they can figure things out. So they give you a report about your situation. But what is God saying about your health or your situation? So faith cometh by hearing and by hearing God's word. We don't receive faith from doctor's report. We receive faith from God's report. So what is hindering you from hearing what God is saying about your situation? That's what we do. And it's not only for those that are sick, but it's also for those that you are wounded, you are offended, you are hurt, you are naked, your spirit is over. is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Well, if God was doing miracles, why are people in hospitals? The best answer to that is God will never fail it anybody's will. It's you choose. You can choose to, you know, to win, or you can choose to be defeated. We don't judge God based on people's obedience or disobedience. God is who he says he is, and he never says to be who he says he is. Amen. Our faith 
just gossip. Because everybody has an opinion. We stuck with Jesus for that. Yes. Everybody has an opinion about God. But what does the scripture say about it? He says in his word that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He says that he's the Lord that healeth me. I am the Lord that healeth me. He says, I am Jehovah Jireh, the good news he has provided for you before you were found in your mother's womb. Because when I search this scripture, it says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is Jehovah Jireh. So when the economy is messed up, Jehovah Jireh is not messed up. When your bank refused to give you the mortgage to help you pay off your home or whatever you are Increase the interest rate and you're about to lose your property. God can make you aware where there seems to be nowhere. Because it's Jehovah Jireh. If you're sick in your body and the doctor told you you're three months live, God can change that and give you six to ten to fifteen to thirty years to have to as long as you want to live. Why? Because he's on the throne. So the flesh, King Uzziah, was blocking the perception of this man. And he says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, and there that King Uzziah died, which means there were many years. So one specific year, it stands for the appointed time when the Lord helped this man. Sing. They could not see 
God loves people in America the way he loves people in Africa. Some say amen. It's so good. It's perception. It's a medication. God is guilty. Trips. But Jesus brings the cure. Some will say, oh, no, no, no. So don't you be discouraged because the medication did not work. Remember, Jesus was the final sin. That's why you got to pray for your doctor so he will not misdemonize you or give you mistreatment or mess you up. Pray over the medication that the side effects will not bring corruption to you. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So when the glory is present, miracles happen. When the glory is present, the sick are healed. Jesus said, by his stripes, we were healed. He doesn't say, by his stripes, we shall be healed. So what is, by his stripes, we were healed. It happened before the sickness came. So no sound and no hear. The scripture says, the Lord prepares the table for you in the presence of your enemies. God goes before you to level every crooked place straight. Some say, Hallelujah. So, before you were formed in your mother's womb, God already healed you. Before you were born, you were already healed in Jesus' name. Before you came here tonight, you were already healed. God already healed you already. Stop it. You don't even want to believe that God 
is a free. I believe and I receive. The Bible says the day of Jesus is gone. I believe and I receive. The Bible says, you see, when, when you read the scripture, it says you were healed 2,000 years ago. Okay? You were healed by his stripes. So we understand how many years, what the Bible says, 2,000 plus. So God healed you already. Now watch this. The Bible says the same yesterday, today, and forever. The scripture does not go to sleep. We see it in the scripture. It doesn't go to sleep. That's what the Bible says. God like that. He does not sleep, neither slumber. Neither does he slumber or sleep. So he that watches over you does not sleep or slumber. So he's watching over you, but he's watching his word that is in you. So the word of God will not fall on ground and it bring results. So as you receive his word, you receive your deliverance. So I say, I believe and I receive. As you say, I believe and I receive, your sickness will leave. It's a powerful statement, but I think it will change your life totally. The glory of God does not bring leftovers or leave leftovers of functional leftovers. When food fell from heaven, they had to eat the food and totally eat it. No leftovers. No leftovers. So, we need to pursue God daily. Not only food, we need a healing with deliverance. It's our own. Somebody say hallelujah. So there's no funeral plan. Somebody say amen. God can move in a situation at any time, at any hour, at any moment. Somebody say hallelujah. If you believe, all things are possible. Somebody say hallelujah. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. He says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Is there anything too difficult for me? The 
there's nothing impossible with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's the life that is so blood. Had tried every option and failed to work when she saw Jesus. She says, This is the only option I have. And she went for him. She didn't care about security. She broke through the thousands, broke through all those men. And she's been bleeding for all years. Yes, she's weak. But her desire and her faith plowed through everybody. And when she touched him, something came out of him. Her faith unlocked the glory into her life. The fountain of her blood cried instantly. Nobody knew her issue. Most of you, your problems, your family, everybody knows your issue. But the people around her couldn't figure out the depth of a need that changed them and his glory dried it up. An issue. Nobody understands your issue. Maybe you tell people about your problem, but they don't fully understand what you're going through. But there is a man called Jesus. He knows your pain. He sees you when nobody is seeing you. He sees you in the pain. He sees you in the shame. He sees you in the suffering. But he wants you to come out of it. You have to reach out. I cite the scripture before I finish. It says, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He never said, When you call on him, you're going to find a first man. He says, Call him, and he shall be saved. He said, Just call Jesus. Jesus. He had his son of Hallelujah. There is no first man in heaven. Hallelujah. There is no answering service in heaven. Hallelujah. Your bank has an answering service. Your husband has a voice too. But God has no first man. Call him time. Said this before I finish. Why did Judas deny Jesus and send him out to be killed? He said, Judas, let me betray Jesus. And I know it's not so pretty. He wanted to be part of the himself. But I'll show what's
the boy. The boy is to call his sister from jail. Correct. This time he called his sister from her. But I saw she said, no, where are you? Is that correct? No, no. She said, I don't know. They claim this record up. Yeah. <laughs> 